Hey, orange one here. So we got a city that we're going to attack. There is some armies that are kind of around. Um, I'm not too worried, to be honest. It's uh, it's going to be a big battle, but I think we got it. Um, yeah, the Kuzi, man, they really do put up a fight. I got to hand it to them. They really do. The city, I really wanted to take the cities out, or the city walls out, but I couldn't really do it. Um, fortunately though for us, we were able at least to get rid of the siege equipment on the walls before they got about 400 people to back them up. If they got another army of similar force, I don't think we'd be able to win this, especially seeing how I've got a lot of lords with me and my influence drain is like, actually, it's a problem. Let's just say that, which is pretty rare for this character. Redan, usually his influence uh, generation has covered him. But I think we lost like some fiefs along the way, and so that's been kind of hurt a little bit. I have been thinking maybe it's time that we reclaim some fiefs for ourselves. But you have to get a lot of influence to do that, and so I'd have to be at peace for quite a while to do that. I might do that, like, if we get into peace, I might just try and see how I can generate some influence. and then use that to uh, revoke some fiefs from some minor clans. I mean, I've got a lot of like minor clans that are not my uh, my cultural alignment, so it's like kind of like one of those things where it's like gonna uh, cause issues. And then I'm like, oh god, you know why I sound like a certain large modern country, right? Okay, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I oh, here's a quiver. Perfect. I'll take it. It's only six arrows, but that's better than zero, right? Okay, who do we have here? Oh, oh come on. Oh. I hit him. There we go, I got him. There, headshot. Anyone else? Not really. I can't really see anyone here. There's a dude way over that way. There's this guy right here though. That's that's what I'm talking about. That that was pretty sweet too. Okay. Um I wouldn't mind if that ram, though, could uh, get in there. I think we've got siege towers, too, though. Let's see. Anyone taking shots at my footman? I don't think so. I can't really see anyone. I think it's these guys up here in the tower here that are really going to be causing us issues. Come on. There we go. With this game, it's all about, like, centering your shot, you know? Like, I, I got into, like, darts for a little while, and that was all about, like, centering your shot. And, like, it's all about, like, making sure everything is consistent, and, like, just having form that ma Oh, whoa. Okay. Hello. Yeah, just having form that you can reproduce. Like, it's kind of like... It seems the arm's a little bit straighter than I would like. For my throw, it's kind of naturally how I would want to throw something. Nice. But um, because it's so straight, you it allows you to make it very, very consistent, like the angle that you're throwing, the force, and like, you know, all that stuff. If you have your hand at like positioned the exact same way every time you shoot, it, it really helps, essentially. Do we have any barrels? We do not have any barrels. Okay, we've got a lot of archers, it looks like. Okay, it looks like we might be kind of on the walls. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of advancing on the walls here. Yeah, it looks like we got people maybe climbing up. Yep. Cool. Well, I know my AI is terrible at getting this gate, so I'm going to see what I can do. Help. Because I'm a team player. And I think that we've 
we may even just get in here without having to attack it. Honestly. We probably would. There we go. Hello. Take that. Oh. <laughs> Parried that. Okay. Okay, seriously, guys? You could easily just all rush me and kill me. Oh. No, they're just shooting me. Okay, I'm gonna hide here. So I got more, more people. Not looking to charge at 40 people. Oh, come on. Nice. Nice work, man. I'm gonna chase this guy up the wall. There may be more up here. Okay, he's, he's like a goner. Oh. Got stabbed in the face there, buddy. Okay, I think that that's all of them, maybe? Nope. Are you both? Are you... Yeah, you're trying to kill me. I could, uh, hit him. That'd be nice. Is that... I think this guy to my right is the enemy. That guy right there, I'm pretty sure. No? I guess not. Okay. Alright, now we got the bugginess of waiting out the last few people getting killed. Where are they? Oop, are you one? Yep, that was one. There's another. Of the seven. Okay, yeah, I think we might actually kill the last of them. Like, legit. Kill them. Do I have to kill all of them, guys? Seriously? <laughs> you want to get something done, I guess you gotta do it yourself. Wait, there's ten? I thought there was seven. Did I misread that? I must have misread that. Okay. Um, something go is going on weird here. The pathing. Come on, team. You know, the dynamic lighting is... I, I really do like it. I just feel like I don't get to see it enough in the game to really appreciate it. You know, like, a lot of times when you're out in the fields, you just don't even notice it. Oh, got dropped to four frames per second there for some reason. Something... Something got caught. Something's getting caught on this. I don't know what. But game's not happy. Okay, there... We have to... Okay, I, I don't know if this is gonna crash or what. Ah, there's something going on where there's some pathfinding error going on here. It has to be. I just get more arrows in case I need to just shoot someone. Oh god. How are we doing? Oh no. Okay. Last one. There we go. That should be it. There we go. Game did not crash. We should be good. I'm playing early in the morning. It is like super hot today. It's like almost going to be 100 degrees, I think. It's like 90 plus to like 100 degrees. So I'm definitely glad to be indoors. But um, I'm doing this like right now in here. It's like 80 degrees in, in here. And it's weird because I know during like winter, if you're listening to this in winter, you're like, oh, that's that's not too bad. Or, or that's like, um, that's pretty warm. It's like, no, like, honestly, like, my body's acclimated. You know? Okay, let's see if I can get, uh-oh, this could be a problem for us. Okay, um, I think we can, I think we can beat you. Okay. So sh we shall fight. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Um... I am very nervous because they do have cavalry, and probably a lot of them have kind of like kicked their butts a lot recently though, so I am hopeful because of that. Let's get on this hill. It seems like a good hill to defend. 
Um, let's see. I don't have voice attack on. I'm not even gonna bother with it, honestly. Archers! Like, Blake, it was a good idea. Infantry! In theory, Move! but Archers! it just kind of Forward! was problematic. On my flank! Okay, I'll just keep the cab Stay close! on me. Keep you guys there. And you guys know the drill. This is like very classic Bannerlord strategy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said this is classic Bannerlord strategy. Bannerlord's a classic. <laughs> kind of. Okay, this they're trying to hit us from the side here. Um archers then. You can be have more of the side. Get the archers on them. Okay. I think that we're doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how we're doing. Archers hitting them. Got our cav here. We got 40 cav. They've definitely got more cavalry than we do, which is gonna be a challenge. But I think that if I just. I mean, we're gonna charge the cav in. Kind of sacrifice them a little bit to save the majority of our units. Hopefully, I don't get taken out. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Ah, ah. Okay, I think that that worked out pretty well. Nice, okay. Nice, I think our archers may have even uh, routed them. Hey, cavalry. Get back here. That, I think, went very well. Pretty sure. Kind of pull back a little bit more. I need to stay nearby my, my main force because my horse is really hurt and I'm really hurt myself, so yeah. Things are gonna hurt for us if we're not careful. Okay. All right. I mean, if you look at our kill to death ratio right now, we're doing pretty good. I I think that's pretty respectable. Let's see, archers. We can be more like here. I think. I think that might be a better better place for them. They just seem to not be getting a very good angle right now. And I'm gonna just hide back here. Ah. Don't push me out. Don't push me out. No. Okay. There we go. Get the cav. I'm gonna just kinda command the cav from up here. Horse archers, why don't we just hang out up here? You can do that. Or maybe horse archers. You can kind of stay with the archer archers. Okay, yeah, it's good. Let's get the cavalry kind of like charging in. I think we might want to just charge in. I'm not sure. I think we should. I think we've got a numbers advantage where we should kind of just do it. And they're, they're I think, mostly archers. Maybe archers can hang back. Archers, actually, yeah, you hang back. I think they've got a lot of archers right there that I would like to kind of chase down, ideally. They're kind of hitting us kind of hard. I mean, at the, at the very least, we can kind of distract them while our archers um, actually do some damage. Yeah, there's a lot of them actually here. There's a lot of horsemen here. Maybe we should keep the ground, hold the hill. I'm not sure. Everyone, sergeants, take command. sergeants, you can you can go ahead and command them. I'm gonna let you figure out what you want to do. Okay, high ground. They're trying to go for the high ground. They actually are. Okay. Well, I mean, we definitely lost people, but I think that we still inflicted more casualties than we lost there, I'm pretty sure. 
There we go. Take that. I've got my bow here as well, which I haven't really used. I do need to keep that in mind. Oop. Okay, so that's one of their guys. Yeah, I'm gonna stay with these guys and just like, kinda like, if there's a horseman coming, or infantry coming, see what we can do about that, you know? Oh, come on. There we go. Oh god, oh god. Let's see, can I get... Yep. Oh, come on. Oh. It's not good. Oh, got one. I'm gonna try and help out the two-handed sword guy right there. Seems like a good dude to hang out around. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Come on. I'm like pretty much down. I need to like be more cautious. Yeah, I think that we've like decimated them at this point. Like the we really should just be charging. Just everyone get in there. Like indiscriminately. They're gonna route them if we haven't already. We might lose some more people just charging in like this, but maybe I'm getting impatient, I don't know. Oh, got him. Yep, got him. Got him. Got him, oh my gosh. How many was that right there? That was insane. That's what I'm talking about. Ride him. Ride him, fellas. Force archers. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they can't really do much about it. I think when you have this many archers, it's really hard to counter that. You know? Oh, come on. I, I botched that. I should have gotten that. Hey, this guy's dead. I didn't even have to shoot that. And it's like, I could get the kill, but I also could let my units get the kill. You know, get them a little more experience. Why I tell myself? Is that, that's, is that one of mine? I feel like that's not one of mine. Oh, you are. Yeah, your, your blue seems a little bit lighter shade than my blue. Oh, there's 27 of them still in the battlefield. I'll, I'll let us run them down a little bit. I mean, they're probably all on horseback, so I bet they all get away. Let's see. Where are they? There's an archer, there's a horseback. Yeah, I don't know. We'll let, we'll let us see if we can get a few more. It's nuts, man. Doing pretty good. I mean, we just took a city. We just took out a pretty good chunk of their their forces there. I mean, that was what not a thousand, but um, well, yeah. I mean, like eight hundred ish, right? It's pretty good. Yeah, a lot of them got away. It is what it is. Man, so I I'm thinking my my character and how injured they are right now. And like, I, I mean, I, I'm kind of injured. It's not nearly as bad. I dropped like this like huge Tupperware on my toe that was like full of rice and it was like really heavy and dense, you know? It really messed up my toe. Like I thought I broke something. I don't think I have broken anything and it's like coronavirus time. So I'm like, I don't want to go into the hospital, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so we'll see how, how that all develops. Oh man, definitely want to get some Kuz-8 units. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited that um, by going to war with these guys, we're essentially going to get access to more of them as um, recruits, you know? Okay, so I got to get rid of 10 more. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of a few of these guys. Um...
Definitely gotta get that horseman if I can, and that as well. Are there any other horsemen that are recruitable? Yes. Cool. Yep. Oh, very cool. I'll take that as well. Sorry, guys. I'm not as good as, as those units. If I can get just a couple of them, that will allow vastly improve my ability to fight the Kuzates, because nothing is harder for horse archers to deal with than other horse archers, essentially. is what I've, I've always felt, at least. Um, so, of course, there's no recruits. What about... Um, I think I'll just wait here, honestly. And I think I'm going to let some people out of the army. Yeah, you guys go replenish your units. I honestly think that they all need to replenish their units. There's a lot of them, so I bet they could even fight off others if they needed to. I'll let them recover and head out as needed. Okay, let's see. Uh, what's this? Making peace? No. We're crushing it right now. I, I really want to get some more um, things in their territory. What's peerage? Uh, dang it. Okay, so it, that's really bad for me. These guys just... Man. <laughs> okay, there wasn't much I could do about that. The lords. Can I get my army not to dissolve? That'd be really nice. Yeah, I think also the thing is, is that my army needs to heal a little bit. You know, yeah, look at our wounds. We, we've we won some victories, but if you really want to um, capitalize on that, you got to wait around a little bit. Uh, owner of Mysia. Let's see, who should get it? Yeah, you, definitely. Sounds fair to me. Also don't want to spend influence to do it, deal with anything else. Man, we've gotten to the point where, like, we've, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Hard no on that one, it sounds like. Brindor has a lot of lords that supports war with the Kuzate. Um, you know, actually, honestly, the factions, I'm not too worried about them. You know? Seriously? We literally just voted on this, man. Maybe I should wait for more of them to get on it. Yeah, we'll just wait a little bit more. Let that go. Let us heal. Let there be peace in this land. Um, so, Maizea, do you, you don't really have defenders, is the thing. So, I mean, us... Okay, here we go. So they got a little bit of defenders, not a whole lot. That's enough to fend off a small party, but not a real party. Okay, so we gotta... I think, basically, just kind of wait it, wait it out, let this place get some more units. You know? So Kala just gave some units to the, the place. I, mean, I think it's her, her place, right? Um, let's see. No one here. Can we do some trade? I mean, we could probably pick up the economy of our new city here a little bit. Um, you know, honestly, I don't even remember what we bought some of this stuff for. Just gonna sell some of that. And I think we've got probably tons like really, really, really valuable stuff. So I gotta be careful with this. Eh. Looks like that's not gonna be too valuable, but see, like, these things, these can run up a bill pretty quick. Yeah, see, that was probably good that I didn't also have those, because then we would have gone over. Okay, um, how are you doing now? 59. We'll have to stick around, maybe raid. I think that it's probably okay. But we need to keep an eye on it as well. 
And we've got an army of 500, so I think that we do want to make sure that we're still fighting. Because that's a pretty strong fighting force. You know, completely um, capable of taking out a good amount of the Kuzate forces, I think, now nowadays. Because look at them, they're, they're pushed back a good amount. We've kind of split the map. There's definitely a sorry... Um, and us kind of intermixed, though. So, let's see what's going on down here. I bet because that this is getting raided, that um, what's Prindor got going on? I thought I just saw that Prindor had a quest. What you got going on there, man? What do you need? I can I can definitely do that for you, buddy. Um. Can I give it to my wife, honestly? I know they're a bunch of uh, thieves and bandits. But I think that um, our relation will make it easier to convince her. <laughs> yep, super easy. Okay, cool. I think that might count as an exploit. Um, no. No peace. Yeah, they had a good amount of support that time. Yeah, that... If that's how it's gonna go, I'm okay with that. Okay, so that's one of them. Oh, I see. So there's an army of 600 there. Probably going back to Mysia, right? Can I get to Melion Castle? No, oh, there's like 700. 3.2. Man, they're quick. And we're a little bit quicker, but that's because we're significantly smaller. Yeah, they're going to Mysia. Not if I uh, not if I get stationed in there though. They won't do that. Let's go back to Mysia and and we can put some troops in there at the very least. And hey, we got more Kuzay units. I bet. Ready for this? Get some skirmishers. I like archers against the Kuzates. It seems to work really well. The Endless War. Man, I've been really enjoying playing Far Cry 5 recently. Like, I feel like this game and that game, they, for some strange reason, scratch a similar itch for me. Like, I can kind of just kind of turn my brain off and play them. You know what I mean? Like, it's, like, with other games, with, like, the roguelikes, it's like, you have to be on it. Oh, man, look at all those troops that just got donated. Okay, so they've got, they got some troops now. <laughs> This place looks like it's uh it's not gonna fall to that force anytime soon. Let's see what we can do to entrap them. Can I um kind of let them get a little closer and see if they wanna? Yeah, dude. I think we can maybe corner these idiots. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, dudes. Are you kidding me? Oh. Okay, this is going to be glorious. Let's just kind of get a little bit closer to make sure we get our allies with us. Are they not with us? I think it's actually just us against him. Well... Uh, well, I guess we're going to have to fight him. We don't have our allies here. Well, they'll get hurt badly enough where I bet Belgir can, can finish them off if I don't finish them off. This could be a little bit of a long battle. This episode might go a little long. Follow me! Yeah, let's just kind of pull back. Yeah. On the high ground, pull back, you know. Do what you gotta do, right? Archers! Infantry, move! Footman, follow, follow me! And you know the drill. <laughs> we got the cav. They bring their horse archers over. They shoot us a little bit. We shoot them a little bit. We harass them with the cav. Um, hopefully, even kill some of them with the cav if we can catch them. Take out the infantry, you know. They've got actually quite a big numbers advantage on us here, so I'm actually worried about us losing. But if we lose, 
Uh, we've got quite a large force right by us that I think is going to be able to just kind of clear out a large chunk of them. But yeah, let's, let's uh, help them out. It looks like the archers might need a little help here. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe so, though. Okay, that guy just got on another horse. I love how they now do that. You know? Very cool. Aw. Uh, no contact. Let's see if I can duck and weave a little bit. Oh, that was my own guy, I think. Okay, let's see if I can get them. Yes, I can. Come on, let's, let's finish them. There we go. Ah, uh, okay. Let's uh, let's pull our cab back just a little bit. We don't need to get in there just yet. Um, we will kind of like loop us around. I think he like decimated the archers, the horse archers actually, pretty nicely. Wow. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm gonna just get cab around here. And I'm just gonna everyone, get everyone get in there. I'm not gonna open myself up to a javelin attack. I mean, I'm the general, you know. I can't, I can't be doing that. Uh, this is, oh, it's my guys right there. Oh, hello. There we go. Take that hired mercenary. Not gonna get any more with your crossbows, those little shenanigans that they do, you know. We gotta be careful because there could be reinforcements coming our way. Close. These guys don't look like they're done fighting either. It's the thing. They could, they could just totally like throw a javelin or an arrow at me, like totally mess me up. Okay, there we go. That guy's down. Ooh, that guy could have totally got me there. I think I am pretty happy with how this is going, though. Huh. Oh, man. Take this Kuzates. You guys honestly deserve this. This is, like, how they fight, you know? How, like, they actually fought. With the horses and the just like bullets in you, like honestly. <laughs> okay, um, everyone, let's get together. That looks like they actually have a small force. Possibly. Let's just kind of collect this ourselves together so if they do, we'll just get taken out. Are they? I think they're running away. Actually, no. Yeah, everyone, get in there. You can, you can just charge them, kill them. And some of them are killing us, so it is, it is not completely over. But they are running away. Like by and large, as an army, they are retreating. Oh, there goes my horse. <laughs> oh, javelins, man, javelins. Okay, let's be careful. Those javelins. There's like a group of archers right in front of us. And they've got Sturgeons among them. Okay, uh... Is everyone charging? Because I don't see us really on them right now. And the nice thing is, is that we won. You know? Again against overwhelming odds. Quite overwhelming, actually. I think they had, like, what, 700 to, like, around our 500? And we just crushed them. And we did lose a good chunk of our force, but, you know, all things considered, it wasn't that bad. Oh, man, come on. That, I, I swung the wrong way. And I hit them. Take that. Oh, 
come on. Okay, I think it, this is pretty much over now. There's no point in me really chasing. Yeah, they're gonna get away if they get away now. Well, I think I'm gonna end this here and I'll deal with the stuff after the episode myself. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.